Hi, I'm Jeff Phillips and in this video I'll be explaining how Unicodes can be used in Inkscape to produce particular characters. I've got a set I've typed out here of special characters in black and their Unicodes on the right. Now how we get a Unicode activated to insert a new symbol into Inkscape is we press Ctrl and U and then we type the four digit code and press Enter. For example Pi, the Unicode is 03C0. I come over to the side here and T for text box and Control U 03C0 and enter. There's the Pi symbol. I'll blow it up. You might think, gee, that's not quite what I expected. I'll click on this and then the T symbol to edit it because it's based on the sans serif font. I change the font that it's based on to Times New Roman, which is the typical maths typesetting font. You can see there I have a pi. And the same principle applies to all the other characters here. If you're after a character that's not in this table, and there are many more of course, this is just a subset of uh, thousands of them, you can do a search on the internet. Just type Unicode and whatever it is that you're looking for, or less than sign or whatever. In this document I've got some other uh, helpful, hopefully, maths type setting, text boxes and so on, but the main idea of this file is the Unicodes. I should mention that uh, in another program such as Microsoft Word the command is different to initiate a Unicode and I think for other problems you know they can vary a bit but um, certainly for Inkscape it's Control U then the four digit code. I'll leave a link uh, in the description of this video for this particular Inkscape file and perhaps a PDF version of it as well so that you can save it and uh, refer to it if you wish. Once again, thanks for watching.